wanted to take a look at MSOS stock today, as well as cannabis stocks in broadly speaking, kind of show you my shift in thinking and how I'm preparing for what comes next. Of course, we're waiting upon DEA to go ahead and give their nod or not, I expect they will, regarding the recommendation from HHS. Cannabis stocks shot up nicely from a bear market that was just way exhausted. At this point, what happens next? And this is how I'm kind of structuring things. I'm looking at those prices from the bottom and saying, we're likely not gonna see those prices again. That might be an opportunity. I'm trying to buy on the dips as much as possible while at the same time, bring in as much premium as I possibly can by selling short options. I can bring in a few pennies here. Mostly speaking, these stocks have just been sort of like molasses in winter time, kind of moving slowly. But we do have events moving forward, such as the DEA making their announcement and of course Biden doing the signature. Beyond that, you need to break down your thinking with regard to stocks, broadly speaking. I, anybody who's been following me for any period of time knows that the last thing I do is clickbait hype kind of content. I try to keep it as rational as possible because there's money involved, my money, and I'm trying to grow my accounts. But in a market that's moving sideways right now, slightly lower, it's getting difficult, but I'm coming up with a strategy that I like a lot, and I'm going to go ahead and jump in on this probably on a weekly basis over the as long as I possibly can, bringing in as much premium as I can, then eventually getting to the point where I'm looking to go long in a big way. Let me jump in and I'll show you how I'm structuring things because maybe some of you out there might see that and say, you know what, that's an opportunity I'm willing to take. Let's jump into the computers and I'll show you what I'm looking at. If you've been following me for any length of time, what I've been doing over the past several months is a lot more content but I've now broken some of that content out into separate channels. Links are down below. Make sure you follow along on those specific channels if that's the content you're looking for. Otherwise, Cannabis Stocks Analysis is the name of this channel. It has changed. Lots of changes gonna happen. A lot of things gonna happen with my website and stuff like this over the course of the next three months going into the beginning of next year. Thanks so much for following along. Thanks for following along on those new channels as well. In the meantime, here we're looking at MSOS stock. And this kind of breaks down a good look as to what happened to all the major stocks within the US MSO sphere. Cannabis stocks shot up mostly. Some of them did not. I've got a whole bunch of stocks that I'm looking at that barely budged. Some of them are even profitable, which makes no sense whatsoever. Now with a new federal environment, uh, investing environment, uh, in the future, it's one of those things where you're, I, I just think that some people have been burned out too much on this sector and therefore nothing really happened. And as you can see here with MSOS stock, um, MSOS stock is sliding lower and lower and lower. I expect we might see six to 650 here pretty soon. But I'm not so sure about printing the five handle. In the meantime, I don't know how fast these stocks will slide. So what am I doing? This is stock options. And I'm looking at, say, the $6 calls expiring this week and the $6.50 calls, both trading at three and eight cents respectively. What I've been doing, I started last week, I've been selling puts against MSOS stock. Simply put, I'm bringing in premium. Every single week, I'm going to hope to bring in premium. Now, it's $0.08. Cents. If you had $650, which would be one lot of 100 shares, you'd bring in $8 for the week off of $650 because you would need that margin requirement if that's the trade you put on. doesn't sound like much, 8 bucks off of $650. But two things. First off, I expect we've seen the bottom of the bear market. So I look at this probability as being quite high. Certainly not 100%, certainly nowhere near 0%. I, again, I don't know that we're gonna see the five handle print. We may actually see 650 by the end of this week, getting close to that. We could see a day where there is a big sell off. I'll take it. Because 650 over the course of some period of time, 
I'm likely to be profitable. Even though these stocks are likely to continue to move lower and lower until we get the next event. And that's one of the important things that I wanted to kind of discuss is what's next. First off, we're waiting on the DEA. November 27th, I think is roughly plus or minus one day as to their requirement by law to make some kind of determination on the recommendation from HHS. There may be probably another pop higher about that time. Do we clear the $10.10, which we just had a couple weeks ago, that kind of mini rally right there? Do we clear that hurdle? We'll probably see some pop higher. So if I have to take a position at $6.50 and I sit on it for just a couple weeks, six weeks or so, I'm not hating life because I'll get a pretty decent move higher. I expect that the bear market is done. That from this point forward, with a new federal sort of landscape for investing in cannabis stocks, what happens next is within MSOS stock itself, each individual company is probably going to be starting to make announcements individually, one at a time, throughout the course of, say, two and a half years. That would likely be uplist which changes the dynamic of each individual stock being held within MSOS stock. Those stocks would individually start to spike a little bit higher, individually, one at a time. Throughout, with so many stocks within this particular stock, this gives the opportunity that that bear market is over and we'll see these little mini pops higher and higher and higher from each individual stock as they start to uplist, as we start to see more revenue growth, as we see more profitability because 280E is removed out of the equation. So I look at the bottom as being in. Then it's a matter of buying on the dips, but I don't want to commit 100% of my, in, uh, my, my accounts to this. So what I'm going to be doing is selling these puts. Just keep selling them keep selling them, keep selling. Anytime we slow, slide lower, sell more puts. I take in that premium. Now, eight bucks off of 650, again, that doesn't sound like a whole bunch. Do that for 52 weeks. All of a sudden, you're looking at about 65% return. You ain't getting that out of the S&P 500, that's for sure. So for me, this strategy makes a lot of sense because I see my downside as being quite limited. And should I be required to, I'll take a position at 650. I'll go long 650. I'll go long six if we start to slide a little bit lower and I'll continue to do so because I see the bigger picture of slow incremental moves higher and higher. Now I've talked about this over the past year as we've waited for this to have event to occur. I expected a little pop higher. Then I expected incremental moves higher and higher. But this will all be individual from each stock because of news events with uplisting, which will take out the short sellers. And from there, these cannabis stocks are going to start to move a little bit higher individually, which ultimately will push MSOS stock higher. Now, not all those companies are going to perform well. But the bigger ones, the big six or seven represent something like 70 to 72 and a half percent of all of MSOS stock. So given that, that's a huge percentage that it, it only takes a handful of these stocks to really start pushing things. And if their bottom is in, for me, that's a long all day long. It's a process. And that process is going to unfold individually over a period of time. I want to say thanks so much for everybody that's been following me along for so long. The channel's been growing quite nicely. I've broken things out to better serve you. YouTube would rather I have three separate channels than just the one with all that content. Make sure you hit the like and follow down below for this particular channel if you're just stopping by as well. The other two channels are down there. Thanks so much for following on those. 
I'll keep you updated every single day, every single week with all this content and showing you what I think is going to happen with cannabis stocks in particular, plus MSOS stock. We'll see you in the next video.